Hello, I've been, I'm in Elysium, and welcome back to Adrift, where we are headed. Oh, apparently, transmission. Log. Astronaut Olivier Sebastian, 23 March 2037. My cancer, it is a gift. Who has ever said this out loud before? Surely not many. Because of this disease that disintegrates my physical form, I am able to complete this life, however short the rest may be, as a free soul, and begin the next among these stars forever. Okay, weird. Right, uh, we're looking for the propulsion backup terminal so that we can fix our way off of the station. Right, let's just grab this oxygen cylinder because I have no idea what's going on. Um, sure, I'll go straight ahead, as indicated by many of my things. Okay, I'm meant to be here, I'm getting updates and stuff. But I don't know where I'm meant to be here. I'm meant to be going past it, is that a thing over there I'm meant to be going to? Looks like it. And then that's maybe the spire there that I can... Okay. So what we need to do now, right, is we need to set the filtering system online, there's one left. We need to uh, replicate the Cerebrum core for the Mobilis system, and then we need to just leave. Okay. Yes, this is looking promising. Ow. And then that's our target, probably. I'm going to go inside here first, though. Just in case there is something useful. Is that like a window? It looks like a window. Ow. Stupid. Yeah. Moving beam. Right, is there a way in? Yes. And now apparently our life support is reduced again, yet there's not even a door there this time. Very strange. What the hell is this? Biopsy organizer, tissue samples. Um, okay. Incoming communication. Hardem Corporation Oncologist. Kits. PETA. 7. May. 2037. Sebastian, 
I've detected anomalies in your last round of test results. I see a very clear decrease in your T-cell count. Your cancer, it... It appears to be... Progressing. I can't be certain, but this could be connected to your extended radiation exposure. If that's the case, the implications here... Uh, no. I need a fresh battery of tests with full blood and tissue samples to better understand what's happening to you. Please, take care of yourself. And get Ooh. those encrypted samples packaged safely and earthbound on the next resupply shuttle out. Sebastian. Sebastian. Oh, his helmet's cracked. Damn it. Uh, right, so when it was just saying there that, oh, your cancer's regressing because your T-cell count is down, it must be your uh, long due like uh, radiation exposure. Right, here's several problems with that. Firstly, um, we, you, if your T-cell's down, like, so your white blood cell count's slightly down, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean the cancer's gone. Secondly, oh, it must be due to the radiation exposure that's killing the cancer. Radiation exposure will also kill bone marrow. Bone marrow loss will cause your white blood cell count to decrease. Like, that's, you know, pretty... It's like doctoring 101. Maybe 102. 101's like airway, circulation, whatever. Uh, I have no idea where I'm meant to be going now. Right. Uh, oh yeah, I was meant to get you going through here. Okay, let's go through. Like, it just it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, one of the reasons why, like, when you get chemotherapy and stuff, you can get prone to, like, having other diseases and stuff because chemotherapy kills off rapidly generating cells, like, you know, hair follicles, but also, like, uh, bone marrow to an extent. Okay. Right, still no idea where I'm really meant to be going. Kind of just following the white rabbit of what I think the HUD is telling me to do. Is that it? That looks like it's it. Right. Thread the needle. That's not really threading the needle. That's really the opposite of threading the bleeding needle. Oh, actually there is a invisible surface there. Good job, game. Well done, you out invisible surface me. Down faster. That took a lot of my oxygen. I'm gonna have to go gentle now. That's an alien spaceship going past. Boing. The problem is, that music might have some tension if the game kind of hadn't ruined the tension for me by making me go and do, like, repeating game mechanics. It's lucky that the mobile system is going to remain frame and nowhere else does. Okay. Press the button. Activating mobile assistant terminal. Music just turns off. Oh, hello. 
Gracias. Let me guess, you've got a magical fix for my suit integrity. EVA integrity repair detected. Initialize EVA integrity repair. EVA integrity, 100%. Exit See, all it takes is a BIOS update to update uh, the integrity of your suit. Initializing cerebrum core diagnostic well, no fact. sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Cerebrum core fabrication required. Initiate cerebrum core fabrication. Uh, yeah. I forgot to say, that means he's just getting annoying now. Cerebrum core fabrication complete. This isn't really tense. I've done it four times. Five, if you count the time it stopped doing it. EVA life support systems firmware V2.51 repair complete. Hand for Mobilis mainframe online. System function 86%. Yes, stop reaching out for the station and just get a move on. My character really is a bit of a dullard. I don't know why I'm commander of a station. Right. And I've got full oxygen. So, do we take the long walk? What's the closest way in if we take the long walk? Looks like it could be here. Incoming communication. We're going to take the long walk. Personal log. Astronaut Olivier Sebastian. 27, April, 2037. I have been profoundly changed by my experiences in space, but not in the ways others have. I never want to go back. I never feel the euphoric connection to every living being on Earth, as others describe. From the moment my feet touch the ground again, I experience profound emptiness and the insatiable urge to flee I am instantly drawn back to the unknown to selfishly satisfy my ego and desire to explore the universe and discover greater meaning I never forget the quote from Edward White during the first Gemini spacewalk I'm coming back in and it's the saddest moment of my life. Okay, so either I sabotaged the place accidentally with my pushing for, like, deadlines, or he deliberately sabotaged the place because he didn't want to go home and want me to die up there or something? But at the same time, his cancer was regressing in inverted commas, so I have no idea. Um, also, I don't appear to be losing oxygen by breathing at the moment. Does that repair for my suit done that? Right, I still need to go back over to Mobilis and fix that, though. Okay, yeah, Mobilis is a very long one. Gently, gently. How's the planet looking? Where are we? This is South America. Must be. Or is it? Yeah, it must be South America. Yeah. I think that says 07, which is Mobilis. Okay, debris just respawning in front of my face. It, a, it breaks immersion, and B, it's kind of cheating from a game mechanic point of view. It's like, oh, look, danger. I know this is 01, so this is the spawn point bit, I think. Okay.
Let's get on with this. Mobilis access wing. No, this is Mobilis access wing. Sweet. I wonder if I can access this computer yet. Mobilis fill from coolant module offline. Yes. Mobilis fill from yes. coolant module online. And for fill from coolant system operating at 100%. Don't know why I did that. It seemed like it was necessary, but... I mean, surely it's the commander I would know. So you could at least drop me a gameplay hint about why I did that. Alright, let's get off this ship. Boosting, 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 boost. Right. Up we go to the big hole in the sky. With that creepy music that just seems to be like a violin that's flying past my head. And open sesame. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. Oh, do I need to press buttons or something? No, okay, I think this is all down there I need to do. Yes, ow. Oh, you're kidding. I didn't get your message. It was too late. I'm sorry. If I take them, like, I'll probably be court-martialed. You are kidding. You know what? Screw it. Can I just go home without doing that? Don't make me get the collectibles. That's just a sucky move. I assume that's what you're doing. Please don't make it be that. Please don't. Please. No. 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 You're saying I have to get all of those logs. I, but I, I really don't want to. Oh, ooh, no, no. Oh, that's just oxygen. Oh, for God's sake.
Oh, you know what? Screw it. Hand for Administer Series 4, version 2.3. 9, July, 2037. Intelligentia System Memory Backup and Data Transfer, complete. Hand for Administer White Box, enabled. Eject Sequence, complete. Location Beacon, active. Cerebrum Deactivation Sequence, complete. Core Systems, offline. Yes. Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4 Salvis EEV launch commencing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. I'm blacking out. But I'll be that fast. Come on, cool reentry. Cool. What? You're going to skip. Don't skip my reentry. Okay. And I'm back up here because the game crashed again. <sighs> it loves to crash Center, this game. Hardeman Aerospace Flight Commander Romero, Ryan. Nine, no, don't care. July, don't care what you're saying. Nope. Commander Osima, if you are receiving this communication, you will follow disaster protocol and have successfully repaired the mainframes required for EEB launch and Earth re-entry. It is imperative that you download all communications, network logs, and spiritist mainframe activity data before you come home. EEB three is online and standing by, Commander. Over. Okay. Here's a real pet peeve. I hate collectibles in games because they are just uh, such arbitrary like, oh, you need to wander around the map and just pull up these individual things that have no much bearing on the game. Admittedly, the audio logs in this are a bit better, but even then, I don't want to have to grab these random bits of crap. I don't have to want to go looking for them because they, they're boring. They're just little flags. It's just a list. You need nine out of ten of these things to get an achievement. And then it's gone, oh, yeah, you need these because it's imperative to your mission. It's making it part of the main quest line to grab all of these 25 things and these 50 things. And, and it doesn't tell you until you collect them how many you've got, so you're not sure how close you are until you grab one. Hand for administer series four. I really four, don't want to do that. And now it's making nine, me feel like July, I am a failure at the main quest line because I'm going about doing that. Intelligentia system memory backup and data transfer complete. Hand for Never do that with your optional, enabled. like, bull Eject sequence complete. silly... Collect Location all the audio locations. Please don't ever do that. Deactivation sequence complete. Core systems offline. Strictly, because by doing that, you make it an, not so much an optional. It's kind of almost sort of a semi-required for the story. Um, to get the true ending. Because, you know, to fulfill your, your, you know, what you're told by Hardeman Aerospace, etc. Hardeman Aerospace, North Star 4, Salvis. In which case, that's an actual game mechanic, not just a thing you can ignore. Nine, eight, and then you have to be based on part of your seven, gameplay is collecting six, random bits and bobs. Five, in which case you go into, like, four, the World of Warcraft kind three, of thing. Two, oh, you need to kill 17 one. random hares to find in this location. <gasps> and it, in that case, you actually have to fight them, though. With each progressive crash, my rage is getting slightly higher. Come on, at least show me a lovely re-entry sequence. July, Guess what? We crashed again. Called Disaster Protocol successfully prepared the mainframes required for EV launch and the Earth re-entry. You need to do all these three random go fetch the flag quests. Right. My guess is it's just going to crash again, but we're going to try at least. Because I've worked my ass off to get the escape from this, like, leading the space station, and I will not be outdone. Hand for Administer Series 4, version 2.3. 9, July 2037. 
Intelligentia System Memory Backup and Data Transfer, complete. And for Administer White Box, enabled. Eject Sequence, complete. Location Beacon, active. Cerebrum Deactivation Sequence, complete. Core Systems, offline. So much space in here. Also, only four escape pods. There was a crew of what, like six or seven? Also, each escape pod is a one person escape pod? Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4 Salvis EEV launch commencing in 10, 9, nine 8, 7, seven, 6, six five, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, two one. 1. Don't crash, 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 don't July, 2037. Alex, I'm here at Hardeman with the other families. How could you let this happen? How can Elizabeth, the others, be gone? I've always accepted you unconditionally. Why the hell do you send that to an astronaut on their way down? I don't know how or if that's even possible now. It's time to come home and face the consequences of your actions, Alex. Why would you send that to me? I hope you've done the right thing. The respectful thing for the crew. Well, the game would let me interact with the bodies. Police. For Elizabeth. Goodbye, Alex. Why would you even send that to an astronaut on their way back into the atmosphere? You do that after. It's like after you debrief them or something. What the hell? Why did you... Randomly talking to people. <laughs> I have talked to, like, the random person there, like, just as much as I've talked to the mission commander. <sighs> I gotta say, Maybe it's different if you've got a rift or something, or, you know, it's getting support for the HTC's Vive in the upcoming months or whatever. Uh, but I can't imagine it would, because as an experience, it's interesting. You know, it's it's the first hour, you're like, yeah, this is cool, I'm, you know, I'm a spacesuit. And as you get more into it, you, a lot of the mechanics don't really make sense, especially if you, you know, you're into the whole physics of it. Which I imagine a lot of people who pick up this game will be. They'll be like, you know, oh yeah, cool, a space game. Maybe it's got space-like stuff. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, the fact that you don't lose air when you're inside a unpressurized facility. You know, the, the windows can be blown out. You open the door every five minutes and, you know, it doesn't make a difference. Um, the randomness of, like people talking to you, the randomness of having communications going back and forth. It just seems really weird. And then the gameplay elements of going and doing the same thing four times, turning the same filtering thing four times, and then being told at the end, oh, by the way, if you really want to complete the game, which makes me suspect maybe there's an optimal ending, you need to get all the optional mission logs and stuff, which makes them not so much optional. And I hate those. I really hate those. And the problem is the gameplay is very repetitive. And the maps suck. You just get lost in space, and you're like, oh, I'm lost in space now. Um, and the way they want you to do it isn't by putting, like, objective flags, it's by literally having waypoints. Which means that, effectively, you're just meant to follow the waypoints. Which just takes, again, away from the mechanics, and it just makes it, like, it's a walking simulator. I mean, I don't, I don't like using the term walking simulator because it's very derogatory. But they are, like, by putting waypoints to the here, 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 to the objective, instead of just saying, here's the objective, they're not saying make your own way, they're saying you have to do it exactly as we tell you. And then the rest of the map doesn't really work very well. Um, it's the sort of game where I'd go, maybe it possibly might be your thing, but I personally couldn't recommend it because after the first, you know, half hour, hour, maybe hour and a half at a push, it gets quite grating in terms of everything is the same and 
oh, you just need to reboot some computers. Like, the entire station's ripped apart, and at no point does it ask you to seal vents or um, close off gas valves to expose piping or, or, you know, rewire things or, you know, anything to do with damage. It's just, oh, reboot the computer. And also, somehow you're going into bits of space station that are ripped off and rebooting things here and there, and it just seems very, very weird. It seems like someone put arbitrary gameplay elements without really properly integrating them into the setting of the story into a game which had a quite nice atmosphere. And I think that a lot could have been done with that atmosphere and those um, that sort of setting, that feeling of moving slowly, having to conserve your oxygen. And I feel that it was kind of only sort of half done to the amount that it really could have been. And it kind of leaves me going, mm, there could have been something better here. The experience itself for the first, you know, section of it was good. It was, you know, really nice, actually. I really enjoyed the experience for the first, you know, 40 minutes. And then it just went off a cliff because it felt like it wasn't particularly... I didn't know where it was going. It, it, it was like, oh, yeah, um, get these four things that were all the same. And then just reboot some computers. And yeah, you're good. That's, that's fine. Oh, by the way, yeah, the... Uh, the escape vehicles, yeah, um, they're not ready unless you spend like five hours readying them. Again, a lot of this doesn't seem to make sense. And it leaves me somewhat puzzled. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just because I value my games a little bit more scientific. And it was going for a bit more airy sort of fairiness about it or something. But, uh... It'd be interesting to see what you think down below, because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just one person. It'd be interesting to see what you thought of it. And, uh, I mean, to an extent, my opinion is colored by the fact it kept crashing on me and I had to do a few sections a fair number of times. But, uh, I'm at Neuralysium.